All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another Let's Trek Together video. Um, after a train ride, two, three bus rides, and a taxi, we spent way too much money to get here, but we are at our second national park here in South Korea called Chiaksan National Park. Yay! It's so beautiful. It is just green and big, and we're gonna hike up to a beautiful peak today. So let's go. So this is our first stop on the hike. We didn't get very far, but we had to stop and admire this really beautiful painting. So this right here is the temple called Guryongsa, I believe. And there's this whole legend about the pond where the temple was built getting dried up because there were these dragons that were there and when the water dried up, they all fled the mountain and all this really interesting stuff. It's super cool. Beautiful painting. Yeah. that the name Gu Ryong literally means Gu, nine, and Ryong is dragons. So it literally means nine dragons. Okay, so that had to be the most stunning temple we have ever seen here in Korea. Just perched in the most beautiful spot of the mountain. Huge, old, a lot of history. Just really, really beautiful. On to the hike. So less than a half a mile into the forest, we found this like, ropes course, like this really old abandoned ropes course. Um, is it wobbly? You got it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so there was two ways we could have taken up. We tried one way and we got to that like uh, rope slaughter course and then the trail just kind of ended. It looked like just a bunch of bushwhacking so we rerouted, came all the way back to the beginning, and now we are starting it going the other way up. Okay, so there's uh, two peaks or two routes to the peak. Um, this one apparently is the easier way. I mean, you could just look, that's the harder way. Uh, I don't know which way we're gonna take yet. We wanna do the harder way, but that's this valley and that looks like it might be pretty. Which way should we take? Pick your own adventure. <laughs> Tell us in the comments and then be wrong maybe. Okay, so we are splitting up. I'm gonna do the harder one. Dan's gonna do the other one. Bye. Bye. See you later, <laughs> hope we don't get lost. If this hike is just a staircase, the whole way up, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> it literally looks just never ending. All right, we've gone from wooden steps to rock steps. <laughs> so before Dan and I split up, we had to cross this bridge. And before you entered the bridge, there were these wooden swinging doors and there was a sign on them. So we translated it and they're like, beware, have caution difficult hike. I feel like every hike we've done has been difficult. <laughs> All right, that is definitely the steepest, definitely the steepest climb I've done. What is really cool about going up this steep is the payoff of the views just keep getting better and better with each step that you take. So the pain is worth it. I have sweat in my eye. Okay, I'm putting the camera down.
pulling on half a kilometer. <laughs> so that 2.2 to the top. So that's about, what, like a little over a mile. Okay, we're slowly making it above tree line. Almost there. You can see here some of the tops of the trees. Come on. Give me a view, please. I'm working my butt off. I wonder how Danny's doing. All right, so I took the valley loop, or I took the valley way up. It's really beautiful. Um, Molly's climbing stairs at the moment, and I'm just looking at these beautiful, beautiful waterfalls. So I've just been dipping in and out of this gorge. I know that Molly said my route was easier. It's not easier. It's a, uh, it's really hard. I'm just, it's a roller coaster. Very beautiful though. Love all the waterfalls. Like these are much more beautiful than the beginning of, or the entrance of the park. So very happy. So don't tell Molly, but I'm the faster hiker between the two of us. And so when I'm not with her, I just start to run. Um, I like wind myself and right now it's hot. So I am so sweaty right now. Um, <laughs> I'm only like halfway up. I think I still have like 600 feet to ascend. My section's really tough. Hers is probably really hard too. Hope you're doing well, Molly. So, so far, the only person going up this way is me. Everyone else is coming down. I've had some very funny interactions so far. Either they just kind of look at me really confused and they're like, why is she going this way? Or they're like, oh, oh. and I'm like, yeah, and then they're like, oh. <laughs> it's very funny. Very, I just wonder what they think. Like, are they concerned? Are they impressed? I don't know. Okay, so I just translated what this means and it is a warning for lightning. But today's sunny. No lightning. I think we're going above tree line, so about to get some views. Yay! Okay, so I am on a ridge right now. A little scary, I got railings, but I'm literally on like the point of the mountain. <laughs> oh man. Very beautiful though. Oh, a bug just blew in my ear. Hey, get away from me. <laughs> I think I'm about halfway up. It's no joke, it's definitely difficult. Bug. These stairs are never ending. Oh, it just keeps going and going and going all the way to heaven. tree line <sighs> oh my gosh it's so pretty all right about 400 more feet the forest turned really quiet got above the water um, been climbing this for like the past half mile. Really steep. I'm just like heaving myself up these iron bars. Thank goodness they're here. So a group just passed me going down. There are two people going up. And I asked, you know, how long till the top? And this girl said, one hour. <laughs> I checked my map. I'm only about a quarter mile from the top of the peak. So unless that quarter mile is like a rock climb, I'm hoping it doesn't take me an hour. <laughs> Danny's going to be waiting a very long time, if so. 
Whew, I've stayed on pace with Danny. He texted me, he had 1.2 kilometers left. And then just after that, I passed a sign that said the same thing. So that's good to know. At least we're gonna hopefully make it to the top at the same time, but I guess we'll see. I just wanted to say that the woods bring out the best in people. I've had so many kind hellos and thumbs up and smiles from people. It's just really nice. I love the woods. This is supposed to be my first view. Uh, super hazy. Um, I knew the beginning of the day was nice and it was gonna get hazier over the course of the day. It's probably not gonna get a great view at the top, but whew, excited to get up there. you call a view. Well, oh my god, it's so beautiful. All right, here's the top. There's the marker. Yeah! We're reunited. I'm not kissing her sweaty mustache. Rude. <laughs> Okay, so we made it down from the hike. Uh, we're gonna walk probably a little farther into town, maybe like a half a mile, and then call a taxi to bring us back to the train station. And then we got like a two hour commute home, but it was totally worth it. It was so, so, so beautiful. Um, this just gives us more reasons to go outside of Seoul and really see the national parks of Korea and just the surrounding area. Um, I think we're gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed our second national park, Chioxan. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's it. And as always, guys, let's trek together. together.